Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, July 25th, 2022. If you like to support our channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and all my trades and my portfolio are available in the link down below. And we'll also add additional um, analysis of the cryptocurrency market that only will be available on my eToro uh, profile and also on my Patreon channel. So those links are also down below. So we'll start by looking at the Nasdaq. And as you can see, we have fallen quite a bit. It was not very surprising as we were basically at the top of the bullish band and we were fairly overstretched. We had a nice rally from roughly 11.4K up towards all the way towards 12.6K. We were running into this area here, which should offer massive amount of resistance. If we break above there, then we are looking at a market that is going to go significantly higher. So we're right, right in the middle of this area, and therefore it's not very surprising that we are pulling back. The question is how far we will pull back. You could also make the case that we are in a upward channel, and that this is we are basically just at the top of the channel, and that we are breaking back towards the lower part, which is roughly at where we find the 50 moving average. So that would make sense that we'll see something similar to this. But if we break below here, then watch out below because then we'll most likely go retest the bottom of 11k. Um, there are troubling signs. Uh, first of all, if you look at Snapchat, it's down more than one third in one day, roughly 39.2% uh, at this current stage. And that is absolutely among it. The main reason for this is because ad revenue is just, uh, is just gone. And therefore, um, expectations for Google and also for Facebook, as we can see right here, which is down 7.6% and Google is down 5.7%, is that those major companies' ad revenue will also be significantly less in, the, in next week's and that we will basically see in next week's earnings where the big companies like Apple, Facebook, Google and so on uh, will be um, will see basically their their uh, their earnings. And therefore, if they're as bad as Snapchat's, uh, which is just a minor company uh, compared to, to uh, Facebook and Google, then we may see a massive uh, drop in this market. But that is to be seen. I will, we will see in the earnings in next week. But look at technical indicators. We could basically rally here or we break down and go back towards the bottom. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is bullish, stochastic is becoming bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So momentum is technically changing to the downside. Doesn't mean that we'll completely fall apart. Could mean that we'll just continue within this channel going forward. So let's look at uh, the S&P 500. Same thing here. We're also in a upward channel and we may just go back to the bottom before going higher 50 moving average should offer support 20 simple moving average should offer support but this area right around here is kind of where we are going to find resistance and we got very close to that area today not really uh, not really there so up towards uh, four uh, four thousand fifty, up towards four thousand one hundred and eighty. That's an area that should be um, very volatile. Breaking above that, then we're looking at the, the two hundred moving average. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So momentum is changing to the downside. So the people are de-risking uh, heading into the weekend as there may be bad news and so on. That's usually the case also in uh, when there's a sell up at the end of Friday. If you look at the Dow Jones, it's even um, it's it did rally all the way up towards the 32.2k and ended up at the, at the, give or take a 31.8k. So gave all of those basically gains back and and some. But this is starting to look like a shooting star and um, if that is the case then we may see this market tumble back to the to the downside. But we're still in a fairly uh, nice channel and we could basically see this market just drop to the worst channel and then head towards this area which should be the next target after this so this is roughly at uh, 32.4 up towards 33.6 and then to 200 moving average if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is bullish stochastic is bearish and the rsi is bearish as well so let's look at the european markets and european markets did really well in the in the um, 
well, be basically the opening of the European market end. And, uh, but at the end of the US session, it gave most of those gains back. And we are really struggling here at the 50 moving average. We didn't really get close to the 50 moving average. And, um, and that's telling me at least that, that people are expecting this market to have res uh, find resistance around this area. So they're just selling beforehand, even though we're not even close to the 50 moving average yet. So 50 moving average will most likely travel in this way, but breaking above here, will also break uh, above this bottom here. That could open the door to the 200 moving average all the way up, which is at 14.6K at this current state. Outlook for the European market is terrible. So, so it wouldn't be strange if we just saw this market just lose momentum and drop back to the downside. Um, to the very low series, it's a 12.4. That is the, where we have tested three times in the past, and that should also be significant uh, resistant. If that be, uh, support, if that breaks, then we are looking at a market that's going much, much lower. If you look at technical indicators, we're gonna see the MACD is bullish. Stochastic is still uh, is bearish, but in both positive territories, kind of flat at least. And the RSI is flat at this current stage. So dropping below, this candlestick here at the 13.1, that kind of is a warning that we are most likely going to go significantly lower. So let's look at the Japanese Nikkei. And yet again, we're just seeing history repeats, repeat itself. Um, 200 moving average is massive resistant for the Nikkei. As we saw here, shooting star breakdown. We also saw here breakdown. And now we're looking at a very similar move like this one back to the downside. To the lows, we have roughly 25.5K. And if that, if this basically holds, then we may see a market that goes and retest the 25.5K yet again. If we manage to break above this candlestick here, uh, above 28K, uh, and also above these two um, highs, then we are most likely gonna go significantly higher. But still, it looks like a market that is just it's gradually going lower, but almost sideways. If you look at the MACD, it's still bullish. Stochastic is bearish and RSI is bearish. So momentum is to the downside. Drop it below 200. Then we have the 50 down here at 26.8 and then all the way down to 25.5. So let's look at the VIX. VIX um, did drop, basically gap down and then rallied a little bit. So we are kind of at the bottom of things. If we go lower from here, then we are most likely going to see stocks indices in, uh, rally significantly. But if you just look how the VIX has behaved in recent months, getting close to the 200 moving average, that is a fairly big deal for a catalyst to go higher. So you're kind of building up, as it looks like, we're kind of building up a momentum to go go higher in the VIX and lower in these indices. and and stocks. Um, to the highs, roughly uh, 35 is where we find this uh, double top here. Um, so we may see a market retest uh, those highs yet again next week. Going above that, uh, above there, and then we're lo probably looking at uh, 40. But this has been fairly uh, reliable for 2022 that when it goes low uh, uh, towards the 200 moving average, it rallies. When it goes the highest to, to, um, to 35, give or take, it basically breaks down. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is flat, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So still, there is momentum to the downside, but this should be a massive barrier. Two, let's look at the, the 10 year. And as you can see, we are approaching 2.7, tested it technically today and pull back. So there's still buyers here. I'm bringing them uh, below here and then we can look at the Fibonacci retracements for uh, the 10 year. Uh, we are basically just, we haven't even tested the 38.2, which is at the 2.6. Then we have the 50 down at 2.4. So that is just above the 200 moving average. That is probably as far as this will go if this basically breaks down. Uh, 200 moving average and the 50 Fibonacci retracement should be uh, a massive support for this market. To the upside, we have all the way up here at, at the 3.5, which should be the very highest. We have a middle part here, uh, give or take, it's 3.1, which is where, we'll, if we break above that, 
most likely will head towards 3.5. So, hope you found this helpful. You will support channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and bell button to see our new videos. Good luck and good.